Make a U-turn. In 1,000 feet, slide left. Take the next left. Sharp left. Turn right up. Continue on. In a quarter mile. At the light. In 600 feet. Turn right up. You have reached your destination. Yup. Alright, now with my front end all buffed up and looking pretty, I need to make its grill. <clears throat> so I bought another sheet of this stuff here, this diamond uh, stainless steel mesh. There's some of it there. Um, where's the rest of it? It's around here somewhere. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do, uh, I've got packing foam here to use as a template. Um, I've got it all the way around the outside of the uh, the grill, and uh, what I'm going to do is trim it so it's level. Oops, trim it so it's level around all of this. Then I'm then I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I have a couple of ideas, but uh, essentially I'm going to lay the uh, the mesh directly on top of that and screw it in in such a way where it's not going to be seen from the uh, from the outside. Maybe if you're under it and looking in, but um, I may just impregnate this entire thing actually with fiberglass. Maybe. I don't know. Like I say, I've not <clears throat> I've not thought this through totally. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is actually almost done. Um, I've got most of the fiberglass uh, done and finished. I've already done one round of, uh, what do you call it, um, leveling. So once this is totally dry, it's a bit sticky here, um, I will set it back down nice and smooth. I will lay that mesh over it, screw it down, and call it a day. It'll look nice from the outside. You won't be able to see it from the inside. I'll paint all this first, and Bob is your uncle. So we'll see here in a minute. So I'm looking, <laughs> I know this doesn't look pretty, but, uh, it just got painted and it's still looking kind of sloppy. So I'll let this paint dry overnight and then I'll fix that, uh, that grill. Um, I'm more looking for function than I am for beauty on this. Again, <laughs> no one's going to see it from the back <laughs> and it looks ugly as piss, but or why? <laughs> Hell with you, it's functional. <laughs> okay, right quick. I'm using paint, paint, tape. To uh, to kind of show the outline of the uh, uh, the mounting thing, because I can't use <laughs> magic marker; it keeps wiping off too quickly, too easily. So this is uh, stainless steel. Um, I thought for a while I might have an issue with rust. You know, in time this will rust away, but again, stainless steel. So I did the outer portion that you can see here. Obviously, there's a curve to it, and I'll now do this using my angle grinder and that thing in yellow, and then I'm going to uh, mount it, and I'll be done with this puppy. I hope. Okay. Well, I'm done. <laughs> it's not the most elegant thing I've ever <laughs> produced, but it's going to be effective. <laughs> so let's see how it looks uh, on the other side up. And if you would ignore the tape, I put that, put that there so I could paint and not mess up the paint job. Um, so here's how it looks. Not bad. In fact, pretty good. There's one spot I'm going to have to touch up because I got some fiberglass resin in there. That's right there. So I'll just take a Q-tip or something, put some paint and some uh, clear coat on there. Or I've got a tiny little uh, airbrush I could probably use. Um, but, but the rest of this is done. So, yeah. Not freaking bad. Again, a little bit of a touch-up in there to do. 
but I'm pretty pleased. In fact, I'm really pleased. Very pleased. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me just put this here so it doesn't fall down. Um, that being stated, I will post this video tonight. In the meantime, I will continue with this. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm getting ready to paint the inner fenders and some stuff that I'm gonna uh, uh, paint. So, uh, without further ado, I'll post this.